if your virtual travels are taking you to the Philippines, CloudSurf Asia's Puerto Princesa will enhance your experience in the central western part of the country. Welcome to Flight Brothers FT, produced by Tim and Lee. Plan the flight and fly the plan. All charts courtesy of Navigraph Charts, not to be used for real-world navigation. Be sure to subscribe and explore the rest of the channel for high-quality aviation content and entertainment. Puerto Princesa International Airport is an airport serving the general area of Puerto Princesa, located in the province of Palawan in the Philippines. It is classified as an international airport by the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. We'll start with a high-level overview. This scenery includes surrounding ortho to enhance the overall experience. We can see from our friends at Navigraph, the runway is 8,500 feet or 2,600 meters in length at an elevation of 66 feet. This allows for almost any size aircraft to operate from, weight dependent if you're going to use something larger like a wide body. There is a VOR on field to make navigation easy as well as an ILS approach for runways 9 and 27. The airport was built by American POWs during World War II from August 1942 to September 1944. It was used to accommodate larger Japanese transport aircraft to complement the grass airstrip south of the present day location of the NCC Mall Palawan on Lakao Street. The airstrip was constructed by hand by the POWs using crushed corals for illuminating night landings. The finished airfield has an area of 7,200 feet by 675 feet with two runways. Presently, the airport shares its single runway with Antonio Bautista Air Base and as I had mentioned earlier, equipped with an ILS, runway lights, and approach lighting aids, making the airport capable of nighttime operations as well as low visibility landings. As we take a look at the scenery, it includes highly detailed scenery where data is available, full custom hand-placed objects, facades, autogen, and vegetation, custom HD ground textures representing the current airport, PBR ground textures and the new terminal building, photorealistic texturing and ambient occlusion, 3D model terminal buildings, both the old and new terminal buildings, fully implemented ground routes for third-party support like World Traffic 3 or Live Traffic, custom HDR lighting and frames per second, friendly and optimized depending on your machine and settings, as well as custom reprocessed satellite imagery ortho in the surrounding area. According to the Wikipedia data we were able to find, there were over 2.1 million passengers moved through this airport in the year 2018, and that comprised a total of 20,000 aircraft movements and over 16.9 million kilos of cargo. Airlines such as Air One, Air Swift, Cebu Pacific, Eastar Jet, PAL Express, Philippine Airlines, Philippines Air Asia, Royal Air Philippines, and Tiger Air Taiwan serve destinations from Taipei, Manila, Hong Kong, Buswanga, Clark, and Seoul Incheon, among others. I found this airport of interest due to some scenery I have on, specifically in the nation of the Philippines, and I was curious, using Air Hauler 2, how far I could fly to and from some of these sceneries. So as a point of reference, to fly to or from here to Manila, uh, Ninoy Aquino, would be about an hour and 23 minutes based on a 250 knot um, ground cruise speed. You could go south to Francisco Bangoy in Davao, the southern area of the Philippines, in just over two hours, about two hours and four minutes. And you could go to central 
area of Mactan Cebu in about an hour and 29 minutes from here, again at that 250 knot speed. So you can cover and operate the bulk of the Philippines in about two hours from this and other major destinations. If this airport interests you, and you'd like to check out another one of CloudSurf Asia Simulations products, their RPMD, please check out our AeroBasque DA62 first look video, which I'll link in the, uh, in the top of this video, as well as the video description below. Click there. Toward the end of that video, we take a look at some of the scenery and Davao City that is included in that file. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all of our future updates and find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit, again in that video description below. Remember, as always, plan the flight and fly the plan. If you enjoy this content, consider buying us a coffee to show your support. Visit us at buymeacoffee.com slash flightbrosft or search for us from the menu if you'd like to contribute. A link will be provided in the video description below. Thank you.